Okay, so we come back again just where we left off last time, still in the middle of harvest. Uh, we were doing wheat, so I figure we might as well take some of this wheat up and throw it into the uh, ducks. They're always looking for food. I think that's the first time the trough's ever actually been completely full in this, uh, uh, whatever we're calling it, incarnation of no man's land. So back on with the harvest, and uh, she's still chopping away there nicely. Now to have the bigger tractor, let's see how the bailer works in this one. I'm hoping she's got enough horsepower to run this. If she doesn't, then, well, we're in trouble. I think this tractor is about 180 odd horse. So I'm going to do 220 centimeter bales, I think I put in for. Um, yeah, she's running that fine, not a problem. Combine going on nicely and topping up that green trailer. Now because I actually have quite a bit of green coming out of this field, I realised I need to get myself a silo. So 15 grand spent in a silo there. Yeah, I think I'll kind of make this point down here, the hub for all this kind of stuff, but these things may move in the future, I don't know. I still haven't really got a plan on where the whole yard work and all this kind of stuff's going. Everything's very hilly up at the top of the place, so it's, it's quite awkward to actually build anything. So yeah, keep it down in that flat ground, I think's the, the better place for it. But yeah, this tractor's worked really well. Handled the harvest no problem, handling this bealer no problem. And as you can see we've got, ooh, must be a good dozen, dozen or so straw peels out of this field as well, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm just going to use the uh, teleporter table, table, trailer, to uh, lift these bales up. Sorry, I will, I should really get myself an auto loader type thing, a proper auto loader one at some time in the future. But for now this will have to do. And the sunflowers that I'm getting out of this I can actually throw into the silo now as well. May as well keep them, get a better price for them. I didn't have enough space to put all this grass into the silage pit last time so I still have some left up here. So throwing some of that into the goats and as one pit was ready, obviously both pits are ready because they're both pretty much put in at the same time. So we can start emptying that one out as well. I'll keep a bit of this silage for later. Always need a bit of extra income coming. But 53,000 in the bank at the minute. We're looking pretty healthy. I like that. Now I think I mentioned earlier that I did have to still plow all of these fields up. Um, all I've done at the minute is kind of create them with the cultivator. Um, whilst I've got the money, I figured I may as well do this for the yield. It does make a big difference. So I've got myself this plow, start plowing them up and then throw the cultivator on the worker behind and uh, that should get us a good yield. But moving on for another month now, we're in August, another harvest to start as well. What's this one? This is more wheat as well. So chickens aren't going to go hungry this year, the ducks aren't going to go hungry. All these fields that we ploughed up as well now have been running the cultivator across them on the worker too. So that I think gets us a good 5, is it 5? 10% extra bonus? Um, for having the fields ploughed as well. Back in again and making a bit more straw. I don't actually really need this straw at the minute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all, but may as well make it. Um, I'll use it at some stage in the future. I'm, I'm planning on getting cows, so they'll either use it for bedding or TMR or something. Feeling that will just sell it. This is harvest non-stop at the minute. We're into the canola now. Combine's definitely earning its money at the minute. Back on with some more straw. What have we got here? What's that? Four, eight, eight bales in this one, and eleven in the last one. So yeah, not a bad little haul. Because I've made everything into silage. Um, need some actual grass for the goats. Uh, didn't really think about that whenever I was cutting everything and uh, putting it out of the way. But yeah, I've got another trailer load of stuff here. This will keep the goats going for a bit. They do seem quite hungry as well, but uh, yeah, we should be all right. If nothing else, I'll make some hay at some time in the future. That's this combine done with that one. Back in the field with my big plow again. And as I said, I left a bit of a grass strip between these things. But I think I'll just join everything up now and make that into one big field. Plow up everything here. So that gives me that plowed status for the next uh, crop that goes into there. That'll boost the yield on that a little bit. Now I'm not planning on using these pits anymore, so getting rid of both of them and finally starting my actual yard structure. 
get myself a couple of sheds down in there. All the equipment's been sitting outside for the past year, so it's going to start wearing badly. So get her in, get her under cover, and start looking a bit more, a bit more like a farm now. I'm going to have to do a bit of groundwork on this and just square things up a bit. Hey, look at that. We actually have stuff in sheds, under cover, not getting wet anymore. And finish cultivating up this ground that applied again. God, the summer's absolutely disappeared. It's the end of August. That's the credits rolling in again as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these five minutes of farming. That was a very quick summer for us. See you all again shortly. Like, share, subscribe. Bye now.